Hello and welcome. Today we're going to use GPT-3 in Airtable to automatically write company descriptions. So GTP-3 is a deep learning technology which produces human-like text. We'll be using this AI to produce the descriptions and we're going to be using this through OpenAI and the Data Fetcher extension. So there's no need for code and the GTP-3 Airtable extension can be used for free as well. So in order to do this, you want to come to your Airtable base where we're going to create a company and description table. So in order to do this, in the top left-hand corner, you'll see this table one title. Double click on that and we're going to retitle this to companies. Once you've done that, you can select save and now we're ready to add our companies under the name field. So just here, I'm going to go ahead and input the companies that I'd like GPT-3 to create AI descriptions for. So either you can copy these and trial it with these ones or you can choose your own. Then we're going to go ahead to this following field and retitle this as description. And from the drop down menu, we are going to select that long text text, nice and simple, select save. And this is where the description of the companies will appear of that AI generated text, really cool. Then I'm going to go ahead and add another field here. And this field I'm going to title as prompt like so. Then for the type just here, we're going to scroll until we can find the type formula. Here it is or you can go ahead and type it in there and it will appear formula nice and easy. Then for the formula, I'm going to copy and paste a line in here from our blog or you can find this in the video description as well. So here on the Data Fetcher website, we do have a full length blog on this exact topic. So if you'd rather learn that way, you can. And this is where you can also find that formula, which you can simply copy by clicking on the copy button. Then come back to your Airtable base and you can paste that formula in here, like so, nice and simple. And then we're going to select create field. Fantastic. So this formula contains our prompt and this is what AI will use as an instruction in order to create the description. So now we're going to create a new grid view. Over to the left hand side you'll see this grid option from this menu and you can select that plus symbol to create a new grid view and we're going to title this as needs info like so then select create new view and as you can see you're now in the grid view you can check this as it's highlighted here then we want to create a new condition so up in the menu bar at the top above those fields you'll see this filter option select the filter option and we want to select add condition here and then we want for this to read where name is not empty from that drop down menu and then we want to add a second condition and description is empty Great, then you can click off that and you'll see that this is now highlighted in green so you know that you've done it right. Now we need to add our data fetcher extension. So up in the top right hand corner, you'll see this extensions option. Select that extensions option and then select the big blue button, add an extension. And then here we're going to be able to search for our extensions. We're going to search for data fetcher. And as soon as you start typing that, you'll see it just pops up like so. Select the add button and then select add extension. And you'll be brought to the following screen where you can either create a free data fetcher account or you can simply continue with Google. The next page will load and this is where you import your data. So select that big blue button, create your first request and we'll be brought to the following screen. Now here we are going to title this as Fetch AI Company Descriptions. So just up here in this top bar, click on that takeaway request one and change that to fetch AI company descriptions like so. And then for the application, we are looking for open AI. You can type that in there and then select open AI. And now you'll need to find your authorization key. 
So if you select the button that says click here, you will be directed to the following page if you do already have an OpenAI account. If you don't, you can sign up for free. It's really easy. And then you can go and click that button. You'll find your way here. And it is also just under your own home button. And then if you select view API keys, you will also find yourself here. So you can create a new secret key and copy that key over back to your Airtable account to paste into this input box. Once you've done that, we are going to select the endpoint, create completion from a text prompt. Then select save and continue in the bottom right hand corner. And now we'll be brought to the following screen. Here you will see the model. This is automatically as text davinci 003. This is the default. Leave it like so. If it hasn't appeared like this, you can find it through the drop down menu, just exactly like that. Then for the prompt, we want to go ahead and click that plus symbol all the way over to the right hand side. Because here we'd like to add a reference to the formula that we created earlier. So once that pops up, you do want to select your output table and that automatically comes up as companies. That's what we're going to leave it as. And then for the field, we do want to select prompt. The following will appear. For the run for every record in view, make sure this reads as needs info. Then select confirm. And the following should now appear in that prompt input box. So you should know that you're on track right now. Then under max tokens, we want to enter 50 in here. This makes sure that the description created is long enough. Then nice and simply, we're going to select save and run in the bottom right hand corner. Select continue. And now we arrive to the response field mapping. So this is where you can choose which fields you would like to have imported into your Airtable base. Only one is turned on here, so you can leave that switched on. That little toggle is turned to green but we do want for the result to run to the existing field. And from the drop down menu, we are going to select description, then select save and run in the bottom right hand corner. And as you can see, this is now running that request for us. Select show output table, and you will arrive to the following screen where you can close that extensions over and you can see nothing is here, don't panic. If you simply select on the grid view, all of that information has now been inputted automatically using GPT-3 in Airtable to write the company descriptions. Really cool. So you can check that out for yourself and you can also add in more companies here. But if you would like for this to update automatically and have those descriptions filled in without you having to do a thing, not even and run the request, you will need to now go one step further. So if you did want to add further companies here to create more descriptions, you would currently need to run the data fetcher request manually each time you want to create those new descriptions. However, you can actually run this GPT-3 Airtable integration automatically using data fetchers paid scheduling feature. So in order to do this, you will open up that extensions option again in this top right hand corner. And when that pops up, it should automatically bring you to the data fetcher that you have here. As you see that loads directly to the request you have already made that fetch AI company descriptions. If you click into this, you can see all of those settings that you have already created. And we're just going to scroll down until we find the schedule option. Now this will only be visible to you if you have already upgraded to a paid data fetcher account. If you haven't yet done that, I really recommend that you do so that you can run all of your requests automatically without you having to do a thing. So once you've gone and upgraded to a paid data fetcher account, come back to this step and you should now see the schedule option available to you. Here, we're going to select the add API key button, and then we're going to click on the link that we are prompted to click on. This will direct us to our Airtable account overview, where we can scroll down and find our API key button. Click on the use API key and copy this API key back into your Airtable account. Once you have that pasted in there, you can select save and you will see that this turns on the scheduling option automatically. You can choose how often you'd like for this to be scheduled and you can also choose on which days of the week. 
Once you've done that, all you have to do is select save and then close that window over. So hopefully today you have learned how to use GPT-3 in Airtable to automatically write company descriptions. But if you do have any questions, like I said before, you can reach out to us here at datafetcher.com where we do also have this full length blog that you can learn through that way as well. Thank you so much for taking the time to learn today. I really hope you have a good one.